Hi, this is Chris Martin, and we're going to take a quick look at the Playbook OS 2.0 and BlackBerry 7.1. So with Playbook 2.0, some of the big features that we've now added is one, communications, and two, connectivity. And I'll walk you through what we mean by communications. And it's really three big major application updates, which is messages, calendar, and contacts. So I'll take you to the messages first. One of the things you'll see is the user experience really clean, really neatly laid out, really rich HTML5 email. We have support for multiple accounts, whether it's Gmail, Hotmail, and really super tight integration with Facebook, LinkedIn, and Twitter. Composing a new email is a breeze. You've got all the controls you'd expect, very much like a desktop experience. I can change fonts. I can change font size. I can even adjust um, body color. Um, and again, really, really easy to type now with uh, an enhanced virtual keyboard with 2.0. So we've re redone the real estate and the user experience, so a much slimmer design keyboard. And we've also introduced a very clever next word prediction engine. This essentially allows me to type and actually select words. And again, as I move through, you'll just see word after word being highlighted, making the typing experience really, really easy. Cool. Can we have a look at the calendar? Sure. So on the calendar, one of the things that really stands out straight away is you know when you're busy and you know when you're not. The numbers just grow and shrink in front of your eyes. So the big numbers, you definitely know you're a very busy guy. The other thing we've integrated is a people view. So it's all about the people that you actually meet every day and the beauty of this is we're not taking you to another experience you can simply find information about that individual by tapping on their name if I take you to agenda I click on a meeting you see how we effortlessly flow the user experience so information just flies right in I can then click on an individual and there's all the information about that person I even have an opportunity to connect straight away through LinkedIn I get a snapshot of their experience and then all the usual details you'd expect on a contact. Plus, I've actually got information about their company. So this individual works for Schiphol Airport and we actually go off and fetch from the internet uh, the latest news and information uh, about that company so that you're always up to date uh, every time you go to a meeting with this individual. We've also done really tight integration with LinkedIn, so I know who, who I've met in common with this person. The Wi-Fi is pretty bad here, but um, no worries. If we could just move on to the, uh, the contacts. Yeah. So again, with the contacts, you see that same user experience. All the controls neatly laid either side. Really easy way to scroll and search. I can stop on a name. And again, I can pull in information that I need to. Adding a new contact, nice and easy, all the different information. And I can flow through all of the applications. And that's communications. The other big update that we've got is with Playbook 2.0, we bring Bridge 2.0. And the focus of that is now the remote control functionality. So I can now move to a remote control-like experience. And really what this allows me to do is use the touchscreen or the trackpad and the keypad of my BlackBerry to control the Playbook experience. So as an example here, you can now see the mouse moving across the screen. We've actually got the frames of the Playbook laid out on the screen of the BlackBerry. So I can actually minimize, I can scroll from app to app, and it's a really, really easy, intuitive experience. And I can even use the keypad to type. So I'll just drop something in here, and you'll see, as I start typing, you can see uh, my spelling isn't great, but there you go. And you just see it being typed right in front of your eyes. Cool. Uh, and there's also a smaller update is the file manager, um, yeah, which absolutely. also includes the bridge feature. Absolutely. So with file manager now, you can effortlessly find all your files, whether it's on the playbook or even on the BlackBerry. Right? So I connect instantly. 
and again I can load up a picture, I can load up albums, I can actually look at video, all of it's there that is on my BlackBerry today. And again, real easy uh, through BlackBerry Bridge, you just see that content being shown yeah. from device to device. Cool, so the uh, 2.0 for playbooks being rolled out later this month, um, do you see uh, more people going out and buying a playbook with that update? Will it, will it make it a much more attractive mm, absolutely. Uh, buy? Um, we, I mean, for the existing base out there, it's going to be a phenomenal update. They're going to be super excited to get brand new functionality, not just communications, not just bridge, but also the Android applications and even more games and, and experiences beyond what we have today. And for new customers, this is absolutely what they want. Um, it's got all of the communications. It's got fantastic brands and titles of games that you know we simply uh, haven't had previously, and it, it's really going to enhance the overall experience. So, um, and moving on from these operating systems will be uh, BlackBerry 10, mm -hmm. which will operate across tablets and phones. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, BlackBerry 10 is really about smartphones, tablets, yeah. uh, embedded systems, uh, powerful cloud technology, um, and it's going to be the future platform for, for BlackBerry. And will devices like the Playbook uh, and the, is this the Bold 9900, will they get updated to BlackBerry 10? Playbook will continue to, to progress and evolve and lead the, the road towards BlackBerry 10. Um, our current BlackBerry line of smartphones will still remain based on our current BlackBerry operating system. Okay, so, so neither one will get BlackBerry 10? Um, Playbook will continue to evolve towards BlackBerry okay. 10, um, and this will remain on BlackBerry 7. One of the things we've done with the Bold 9900 um, is introduce 7.1. So we announced that at CES earlier this year, um, and that brings really, really clever features like BlackBerry Tag, which is based on NFC technology, uh, as well as mobile hotspot, so that you can always connect your laptop uh, or your tablet straight to the internet. Um, and other great features, uh, you know, from applications, UX enhancements. So we'll continue to evolve the, the experience on there as well. Um, and moving on with runtime uh, for the Playbook, which enables uh, Android apps to be ported over to the app world. Uh, are you seeing a, a big influx of those apps coming onto the app world? Absolutely. I mean, we're here at DevCon, and, and you know, the focus has been getting lots of Android developers and, and applications really excited about not just this runtime, but our, our native environment too. And you know, we're starting to see thousands and thousands of applications come through. So when we launch later this month, it's going to be a really exciting refresh to, to the app world environment, and it'll continue um, as we, we encourage more more Android developers to, to come on board with Black. And do you see there being a security risk involved with uh, bringing those Android apps over? Because you know Android being one of the the most targeted, or probably the most targeted, uh, mobile operating system for malware and security issues. Mm -hmm. And and that's one of the reasons why we built a runtime environment so that we could control not only the vetting and criteria of applications, but the application and where it ties into to the operating system. So we're always making sure we're giving you the quality applications um, and, not, and not just the mass quantity, um, and we'll keep you free of, of malware as a result. Cool. Thanks very much. Thank you.